Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you. Because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, so let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what hmm so in my pre-shuffle and meditation the cool kids came out the cool kids now I was not one of the cool kids. I am now, but that's because I realized that I was cool by myself. And so I met other cool people who were cool by themselves and we just appreciate the cool in one another. And so now we are literally cool kids. However, comma, it's not always like that. You know, some people are just, you know, they have the fans in things just naturally it just happens from you know preschool on up for others of us it's not the case and a lot of the times because I spent so much time not being one of the cool kids kind of used to what I say be misinterpreted and it bothered me it still does i'm working on it but this passage was brought to my attention today and so i'm going to share it with you in hopes that it may be a blessing unto you as well so this is for my january card amuata sage of higher knowledge and it reads Thusly, if you have ever been put down or judged as not being clever enough, if your intellect has been worshipped and encouraged at the expense of the intuitions of your heart, the oracle of Amuata comes to you now with a message of healing relief. There are many ways of knowing, and we are all unique in our particular combinations of intellect, instinct, intuition and insight you have been created exactly as you were meant to be for sacred purpose the judgment of others for better or for worse are meaningless what matters is that you find your own best way of sensing truth honoring when something does not feel right and moving forward when something rings true For anyone who has ever felt othered in some way and the remnants of that still ring pretty hard, fast, and true in your heart, may this offer you peace. So it is. So let's talk about the cool kids. Shall we do let's? First up, Knight of Cups. Ooh. The Tower and the Queen of Cups. Hierophant. Eight 
eight of discs. Yeah, you can come all the way up here. The heart was broken once again, and this time, this time you, you went in to look at things by the book. To hone what is right, shine up what you got. Very much like how this last person per Mercury's in retrograde. Much like this last passage just said. Okay. Um, yeah, there's been um we're slighted in some way. And did not expect the depth to which you would feel that slight. But that's good because it's showing growth, like major growth, that you're taking the time to look at it and not just be like, I'm slighted, eh. you know. Yeah, that's wise. Hmm. Eight of Cups. Well, okay. Death. Hermit. Ten of Wands. Are you serious right now? Two of Wands. And Four of Pentacles. Um, I just said that took growth, right? So... We, we're walking and hiding now. I don't understand this. Is there something more here that I'm missing? Because I see moving away, new beginning, hiding things, painful process, choosing to hurt somebody's feelings and holding stuff up. That's what I'm seeing. What does this have to do with the cool kids breathing on the glass? I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Like, is it really gonna matter that much? Do the thoughts of other people matter that much at this stage in the game? I mean, honestly, have you not seen witnessed enough embarrassing moments queen of wands to just stop caring what other people think four of cups um ten of pentacles knowing that these people three of pentacles are dealing with the same six of six of cups dealing with the same type of embarrassing situations in their personal lives anyway no one's life is perfect no one is without their trials and, and, and triumphs. You know what I mean? Like, no one is immune to this human experience. No one. So why would the opinion of someone else have so much weight cause you to go into so much stuff oh because you needed it to be able to step into your shit queen of wands and get what's coming to you ten of cups okay all right all right all right 
Well, it looks like those that are coming before you are actually helping you figure this out with the Four of Cups. And not only are they helping you figure it out, they're also backing up the money train. Hallelujah. Ten of Discs. There's going to be... Not only are you going to... Your, your ancestors have something for you. And they want to build with you Three of Pentacles. They want to build with you. Period. You know? Like, there's a collaboration happening here. And this collaboration is going to be mutually beneficial. You're going to learn so much from this. I mean, so much from this. Six of Cups, and you're going to be so happy about it. Your inner child. There we go with the ancestors. Your, your inner child and... Um, tiny kid from previous life you is going to recognize this and be happy about it okay strength king of swords four of wands three of wands king of wands three leaders of wands okay well six of wands at Good Lord. Look at all this get up and go. Shit. Get up and go in cold hard truth. You know what? Go ahead, collective. Do the darn thing. All right. So. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Strength card. You have all of this motion, right? Stacked up in this layer. You've got the four, the three, the king, and six of wands. The only non-wand card outside of this major arcana is the king of swords. which is the perfect energy to complement all of this, including the King of Wands. And I'll tell you why. This would be the gate that holds the steer back until it's time to go and burst with all of this, taking all of that potential energy and turning it into kinetic because you're talking about laying the foundation and being patient while the foundation is built right with the confidence to see it through even when it gets tough because you're standing on what you know to be true and since you're standing on what you know to be true there is no wavering A chariot, yep. Empress, mm hmm. Seven of Wands, yep. The Fool, uh huh. Three of Cups, yep. Three of Swords, okay. I'm moving to the land of, I'm moving to the land of magic make believe. Or all of my enemies make themselves known and I have no clothes. I mean none. I got one outfit the whole movie and I get together with a giant, a small man with an attitude problem and a pretty boy with a pretty weapon and we go face our fear. I'm going on an adventure. Yes, yes you are. Yes you are. It's got pirates and fighting and there's a princess. It's a hell of a story. 
It's your story. And guess who's the main character? Yep. Next layer. Five of Cups. Six of Discs. King of Discs. Queen of Swords. Four of Swords. Page of Cups. Okay. You're taking this time of separation. This time of nostalgia. Well, it's really easy to get stuck in. Stay there. There's so many better things for you to be focusing your attentions on. So, so much. So much. And I don't need to be, yeah. I don't mean to be judgy, but honestly, like, this is fine for a time. But at some point, you got to Teddy Pendergrass and let it go. Especially when you have the Six of Discs and the King of Discs up next. If you could just whoop around. and see this growth that is coming towards you instead of looking at, you know, some feelings that have passed. Feelings. Acknowledge them for what they are, honor them for what they are, and continue on. Because water, cups, that's fluid. Discs, that's solid. You've got the Queen of Swords with the mental capacity. So wise. The mental capacity. Like she's. And she knows how to. She's not going to have time for any. these days okay the queen of swords she's so wise she's super intelligent and she doesn't have a lot of time make sure that your head is clear before engaging with the queen of swords right make sure all your all your brush is taken care of Because the Page of Cups is coming in with some new applications to emotional content. New applications to love. New applications to love. Okay. All right, Page of Cups. All right, Spirit, do we, must we continue? Okay. One more. One more. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I told you it was real. Five of Swords. <laughs> Six of Swords. 
nine of swords. You know what? Y'all got jokes in the cabal in the sun. Okay. So, <laughs> so I was talking about the swords and the and the disc. I mean, and all wait. Yes, the sword and all that wand energy and now we have another arcana two discs and three swords okay give everything that belongs to caesar to caesar everything that belongs to the lord to the lord go ahead and take that a little bit just with the seven of pentacles go ahead and take that a little bit it's fine um ace of pentacles there's something better coming in for you there's something better coming in for you five of swords is here this is change this is big change big 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 change you asked for this and it's going to come in like lightning Aditi how are you getting that from the five of swords Well, the thing about it is if you have five swords coming at you in some capacity, whatever is going to happen is going to be rather fast. It's going to be intense. Yes, it's going to be rather fast. And some things are going to be sliced beyond recognition. And either way it goes, um, there is a, a, a point of no return that has been crossed when the five of swords comes in, be it verbal or physical, right? So with the six of swords coming in and coming out of that five and having just a moment, just a moment to breathe before the adrenaline wears off and you think about, my God, what have I done? What you did was you came out of the thicket out of the jungle and into the sun where you can see clearly. There's no seeing clearly here in the jungle. So you had to cut through all of that and question everything that you know to come out into the sun. Probably thinking about who you had to tell, you can have that little bit right there. Yeah, you don't want to leave people. It's not that you don't want to leave people. But sometimes it's really difficult to cut out the ones that have, that have taken too much. But it's okay. You're facing the sun. It'll, it's gonna work out just fine. Just fine. All right, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.